we will analyze Mersort. So Mersort is, is a, a recursive algorithm. So the idea is that you have an array A and you want you want to split them into two subarrays. And then you go ahead uh, sort this. Okay, we sort sort this sub piece of array, sub 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 problem, and sort this part of the array. And then you merge them. Okay. And how, how are you gonna sort this array? So you basically split them and you recursively sort the smaller array and so on, so on, okay? Okay, so let's try to describe the algorithm first. So merge sort, in, in this way, uh, it would take an array A. However, we need some way to specify that, um, that we want to sort this, this part of array. And it's, after that, we might want to be able to say, we want to sort this part of the array. So instead of just passing array A, so we introduce two more uh, parameters, P and R. Okay. So the idea is that merge sort PR would sort array A from position P to R. Okay, so that's that's the that's the goal for this merge sort procedure. Okay, so how are you gonna sort them? All right. So you basically uh, look at the array and 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 first step, you find the place to partition the the array. So you want you have uh, you want to sort from P to R, right? So the middle point is something like uh, P plus R over two, the average of that, and we take the floor. Okay. Now if So we, we would call, uh, we would sort the, we would recursively merge sort uh, from P array A from P to Q. And then we would call merge sort array from A Q plus one to R. And then we view merge, merge them. So we want to merge what? What do you want to merge? We want to merge uh, array A from P to Q and the same array Q plus one to R. Okay. And this merge procedure that we discussed last time is not going to take the array in this format. Okay, it will be different, but, but the same idea. It, it has the same idea. So when you given this, um, I'm not going to pass this this to merge so we, we would basically call merge like this in this format so a p q r so you want to sort this part uh, merge this part and that part into the same array a so you need to do something but the idea of merge merge is the same uh, as we discussed last time so this is the merge sort algorithms is it not exactly merge sort because we we have a recursive algorithms so this is these two are the one where you look at the sub problems, but then you need to some way to stop, right? Otherwise, you would recurse forever. So you might need some some base case here when you have very small number of elements, like when p equals r or something like that. You should stop, but let's let's ignore that for now, okay? So let's ignore that for now. So how are we gonna analyze this uh, this algorithms? So uh, let's look back a little bit. Let's see what we we already know. Okay, we know a little bit about merge uh, procedure, right? So if in in the merge procedure, let me like write it here. If there are n one elements here and n two elements here, we know that the running time is n one plus n two. Okay, so in, in this case, we have how many guys in the first, in the first array? Uh, so it's going to be Q minus P. So how many guys here? So there are Q minus P plus one. And then the second part, how many? 
So that's going to be r minus q plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so this is uh, r minus p plus 1, guys. So that's the running time of this is basically O of the size of the sub sub problem sub array, right? So this part is we basically sort of know, right? However, how how, how to analyze the, the the rest of the algorithms? Okay. So for this this kind of uh, of uh, algorithms, this divine conquer algorithm, we usually uh, if you look carefully, you can see that uh, the running time of the so let's let's look at the recursion tree first, so that we, we we have some idea on what's going on. Okay. So you have you you have the bigger problem. Okay. In in the beginning, you call basically a one and the length of a, which is like n n is the number of elements that we have, and then this larger parts just call recursively merge the smaller part of the array so it is called like a with a 1 n over 2 so so let's ignore the fact that n might be odd now but just think of it as as, as a power some power of 2 so that we don't have to deal with uh, this uh, so the other sub problem would look like this a n over 2 plus 1 n right and then uh, this to start this part it is uh, two recursive calls are made and this is this look like a 1 n over 4 something like that and this this should look like uh, a n over 4 plus 1 and and this should be uh, n over two. Okay, and and so on, so on. Okay, you have smaller and smaller sub problems. Okay, and they do not. Uh, we we don't we don't solve them in parallel. Okay, so we keep on recurse, and then when when we get to the answer, and then we go back and and sort of like uh, backtrack, and then do stuff like this. Um, how are we going to analyze the, the running time of an algorithm like this? Okay. The usual way that we're going to do is to write, is to think of the running time of the, the whole algorithm like this. So if you look at the running time of this whole thing in, in the blue area. Okay. So this is running time when the input size is of size n. Okay. What what do we do in this uh, in solving the the instance of size n? So we basically recurse, okay. Okay, so we we try to solve an instance of size n over two, okay. So that's the two lines of merge sort, uh, right? So you want to merge sort something, right? The first line is to compute q. Second line, third line, call merge sort. So this, the second line correspond to this part. The third line correspond to this part. All right. So, um, so to to completely mer mer to do the merge sort, so you do two recursion, and then in the fourth step, you merge. Okay, and you know that the running time for merge uh, depends on the size of the problems okay so so uh, the running time of the when solving the instant of size n the time you need it the time you need depend on the time you spend on solving an instant of size n over 2 okay not just one instant but exactly two instances okay and the other time you spend on this step and that step okay so what's what's the running time for solving and instead of size n over 2. Now we don't know, okay? But um, to get to get out of this, we, we start uh, using a new technique. Not exactly, but 
let's introduce some 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 variable okay so let uh, tn be the worst case running time for merge sort on array of size n okay if I insert introduce this variable okay I can sort of uh, relate the the value of of the running time of merge sort on an instance of size n with the running time on the instance of size n over 2 and this is how so if you define tn like this we would have uh, this so let me remove this a little bit so I can write it like this the running time for sorting n elements array of, of with n elements equals or at most okay is at most the running time you spend on this and that instance okay so how much time is that so it's basically solving this in the worst case time take t n over 2 unit of time and this part also takes t n over 2 units okay and then what else so this this one this step takes only o of 1 and the last step that i have already sorry deleted the fourth step which is merge right so if you have n elements merge merge run in o of n okay so let's combine so this is o of 1 plus o of n okay but thinking about big o here in the recurrence might might be a bit uh, difficult to deal with uh, since we are beginners so let me uh, sort of like throw it away from now so let's call this uh, plus uh, so let's not try not to use the big O okay so let's call this uh, C n and this is C prime okay and having both C n and C prime doesn't really help us uh, because uh, we can think of this uh, when n is large, c c n is gonna um, no, dominate c prime. So let me just throw away this for now. This is like when we do big O. So instead of just c n so, and plus c n prime, so let's use just c n. Okay. So a statement like this it is called a uh, recurrence relation. We, we call this recurrence because uh, you define t n in terms of tn over 2 right so so this is like recurrence so you, you define something in terms of itself with a smaller argument maybe and if you do this so this is uh, 2 tn over 2 plus cn and if we can solve for this so 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 now we know the running time right but the, it, it is not clear what what the actual running time is we know some real relation but we don't know the closed form so what i mean by closed form is that is to say like tn equals say maybe o n square or something but we we know tn is 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 at, at most 2 tn over 2 plus cn so this doesn't say much right it says something but but we want something more clear clearer than that and, and and we will learn soon that this is basically O in log n. Okay, and this is a closed form because uh, T n is defined in term of just n, not not by itself. Okay, so in this clip, let's stop at this point, and then in the next clip, we will try to solve this. Thank you.